this is the part 2 video of the scratch game in this part we are going to see a game which i made and i'm going to show you the blocks and how i did it this code is for the parrot to come back to a particular position when it start the game or going to the next backdrop that is whenever the game starts or when it goes to a next backdrop it's going to come back to a particular position and these are the codes used are the codes for the control of the parrot see i have used a method called message receiving when i receive this message it will perform these respective tasks and each and every message has each and every codes now let's see the code for the coin This code is for the coin to rotate and increase its score by 1 when the parrot hits it. That is, whenever the parrot touches the coin, it gives 1 point and vanishes. And after 10 seconds, it comes back again. We need to copy these codes to the rest of the coins. Now let's see the coding for the snake. This code for the snake is to set a starting position, move ahead to the next backdrop. When the parrot hits the snake, it should make a sound and say game over. That is, the snake should be moving in a straight line. When it touches the edge, it should come back to the position where it started. And if the parrot touches the snake, it should make a sound and end the game. and say game over Now let's see the code for party hat. The code for the party hat is to go to random positions. When the parrot hits the party hat, score should increase by two. And show and hide looks are used. That is, when the flag is clicked, it should show and stand. It start in a particular position. Then it should go to random positions. If the parrot touch the party hat, it should give us two points and vanish. and it should appear in the next game now let's see the code for butterfly the code for butterfly is same like the snakes it should do the same things like it should get a starting position move ahead and next backdrop like it should come back to its particular place when it touches the backdrop and when the parrot hits the butterfly it should make a sound and say game over and stop the game these are the codes used and we added in this the switch costume so that it would look more realistic like a real butterfly flying
and for the arrows it's for the when the down arrows click the function of the message one in the parrot sprite is executed like the one i showed you now let's go to the parrot and see it see this message will be executed this are this code is for the rest of the arrows and the message changes like message 1 message 2 message 3 and message 4 and when it receives the message it does the following actions Now let's play the game and check whether the game works. see our game works and our coding is also working and the all the sprite is working so let's meet in our next video with a new project bye